Okay, now that we've seen multiple quantifiers of the same type, let's try mixing them up. This can get really tricky, but the main thing to keep in mind is that quantifier order with mixed quantifiers really matters. There's a very big difference between everybody loves someone and someone is loved by everyone. We'll see how this works. Let's have a look at a famous ambiguous sentence, everyone loves someone. There are two ways to take this. The most natural way reads the everyone to have scope over the someone. So we would write this as, for every x, there exists a y such that x loves y. And a model for that will look maybe like the following. Take these dots to be people and say that if an arrow points from one to the other, then that first one loves the other. Now some of these arrows are superfluous, but the point here just is that every dot is at the pointing end of some arrow, and so this is true. But the other reading is quite different. It takes the everyone to be within the scope of the someone, and it's somewhat less natural, but it's still available. So what this says is that there's some special someone that everyone loves. This won't come true on the left-hand model. A model for this will have to look more like the following. So there's this one special someone that everyone loves, no matter what else holds in terms of relations among these people. And because it's everyone, they'll have to also love themselves. So the takeaway here is the simple statement that with mixed quantifiers, order matters. Now let's look at one final thing we can use mixed quantifiers to do. In the last video, we saw that we could say that objects were discrete by using the does not equals sign. So for instance, we can say there are at least two cats by saying that X is a cat and Y is a cat and X and Y aren't the same thing. But we can also, using multiple quantifiers, flip this around and say that there's only one. So we say that something is a cat, and for everything that is a cat, is this, it is the same as that one original something that's a cat. And this will only be true in a case in which there's just one cat. So that's another thing that we can use these mixed quantifiers to do.